For the past three years, each January, there is a bizarre online puzzle game that is hosted by someone who calls themselves 3301. Their symbol is a cicada. The complex puzzles draw on elements of cryptography, mathematics, literature, hidden messages, data security, and philosophy. Physical clues appear in places as diverse as Poland, Hawaii, Spain, Australia, and Korea. 3301 claims that its puzzles attempt to find intelligent individuals. However, they don't say why. Many people believe these nearly impossible puzzles are a recruitment vehicle for organizations like the CIA or MI6. Beginning in late August, an anonymous 4chan user began posting hundreds of never-before-seen private photos of celebrities that were stolen from their hacked iCloud accounts. The victims were mostly female and high-profile, such as Jennifer Lawrence, Scarlett Johansson, Kim Kardashian, and Kate Upton are just a few women whose accounts were compromised. Apple confirmed the hackers had obtained the images by means of a targeted attack, though we still don't know who or how many attackers were involved. The FBI has since said they were looking into the case. Nearly four dozen high school students disappeared in Mexico after police stopped them from traveling to a protest. The cops then reportedly handed over the students to a drug gang who investigators say killed them. However, their bodies have never been found. Nearly 80 people have been arrested following the kidnapping, including a mayor, his wife, and a local police chief. But without their bodies, the case remains unsolved. There's a 40-ton boulder located on the shores of the Taunton River in Massachusetts called the Dighton Rock, and it's covered in puzzling petroglyphs. For nearly 300 years, people have speculated about its origin and meaning. Investigators have been attempting to decode the odd glyphs since an English colonist first described the boulder in 1680, but they've had little success. In 1963, state officials removed the boulder and kept it for preservation. Most scholars think the stone carvings are of Native American origins. Some of the wilder theories have proposed that it was the work of the Portuguese, Chinese, or even the ancient Phoenicians. The Green Children of Woolpit were two children who appeared in the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, UK in the 12th century. The brother and sister had green-colored skin, even though they appeared normal in all other ways. They spoke an unrecognized language and refused to eat anything other than pitch from bean pods. Eventually, their skin lost its green color. After they learned English, they explained that they were from the land of St. Martin, which was a dark place because the sun never rose far above the horizon. They claimed that they were tending their father's herd and followed a river of light when they heard the sounds of bells. Then they arrived in Woolpit. Some of the more unusual theories proposed for the origin of the children are that they were hollow earth children, parallel dimension children, or extraterrestrial children. On June 30th, 1999, the body of Ricky McCormick was found in a field in St. Charles County, Missouri. McCormick had been missing for only three days, but his body was already badly decomposed. In 2011, the FBI revealed that they had found two notes in McCormick's pockets, written in a complex, encrypted code. He was a high school dropout who could barely write his own name, making the whole thing even more strange. Even America's top cryptographers couldn't decrypt the text. In 1985, a metal drum containing the remains of a woman and young girl were discovered near the New Hampshire Bear Brook State Park. The two were related in some way, but they were never identified. Fifteen years later, another metal drum was discovered a hundred feet away, this one containing the bodies of two more young girls, one of whom was related to the people found in 1985. The fourth victim, however, bore no relation to the others. The bodies had been so badly deteriorated that authorities say that they may have died as early as 1977. British Columbia Highway 16 has earned the nickname Highway of Tears because of the shocking number of women who have been murdered or gone missing from that road. From 1969 to 2006, 18 women have met that fate. The youngest victim was 12 years old. American serial killer Bobby Jack Fowler, who died in 2006, is suspected of having carried out three of the killings. Most of the others remain unsolved. On Christmas Eve 1945, the house belonging to George and Jenny Sodder burnt to the ground. After the fire, five of their children were missing and presumed dead. However, no remains were ever found and the fire had produced no smell of burning flesh. 
The fire was ruled an accident, faulty wiring on Christmas tree lights. However, the electricity in the house still worked when the fire started. In 1968, they received a bizarre note and photo, supposedly from their son Lewis. The envelope was postmarked from Kentucky with no return address. The Sodder sent a private investigator to look into the matter. He disappeared and never contacted the Sodders again. The Gilgo Beach Killer may still be on the loose. The Long Island serial killer, aka the Gilgo Beach Killer, was responsible for at least 10 murders, maybe even as many as 17, between 1977 and 2013. Most of the dead were sex workers, but the victims also included a toddler who remains unidentified. NYPD detectives allegedly spoke to the killer by phone in 2009 and had narrowed down his location to somewhere in Times Square, but he somehow avoided the frantic search and may still be out there to this day.